Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I've been guided to do this reading today as I've picked up on quite a strong energy in the collective. Um, quite emotional, I'm still feeling the emotions actually. Quite a lot of um, guilt and sadness from this energy. Now I feel for a lot of you this is someone in your mind. It could be anyone, could be a love connection, family, friend, I feel for a lot of you it's someone you're not in communication with as well. And I'm feeling this person has recently been through quite a major life event. And they had a bit of a meltdown before that moment where they really reflected on how far they've come. And as they did that, they started to go over things from their past, people from their past as well and they felt regret. So I'm sort of getting a bit of a player energy actually. And this person's been through, it's a big shift, something's happened that sort of awakened them, jolted them. It's actually the energy I got. Um, and as they've had these memories, for some of you, you've come into this person's mind and they've realized what they missed out on. I'm getting shivers now, as I say this, it's all channeled. They're realising how special you were. Um, they almost lost it. And I'm feeling for some of them, they were about to do something. Yeah, wow. You might hear the emotions in my voice. They were about to do something and they weren't sure um, because of what was coming up for them. But then they just said, right, I'm, I'm just going to do it and you know, close that chapter to my past. Now, I've also just tried to get a few messages come through. These are like my channel messages um, from loved ones. And we got, you've been in my dreams recently. So this could also have brought you into their mind a lot. You know, they've woken up thinking about you and that could have set them off in terms of this reminiscing that they've been doing. And then we got the things you said still linger in my mind. So it then has got them thinking back on the connection they had with you, something you said that really touched them, I feel. Um, it could be significant to them now, I'm feeling, something you said and they're thinking, wow, he or she was right. Um, but it's something that really touched them. It stayed in their heart, you know, clearly for this to have come through. Um, now what I've been guided to do before this reading actually um, is to do like a bonus reading um, for AB community members where we go deeper in terms of what this person wants to say to you so we get some more of these messages. Um, so that will be there in the members area if any of you would like to join to watch that please do but we're going to go deeper now um, in terms of what's going on right now for this person Let's see where they're at wow everyone you saw how that came out broken heart and we've got number nine the number of the hermit i'm getting you know i'm getting a very fragile energy here as I connect with them. So they feel broken hearted over the loss with you because you're now coming to the forefront of their mind and getting shivers again. Um, they may have even been through a breakup recently, um, be experiencing a broken heart and it's bringing up things from their past as they reflect on what they've done in their life. That's strongly coming out um, for this person's energy. So I'm getting a solitary energy for this person. Yeah, see they're looking at different options now in their life. So that could be why they're reflecting as well. So this major change in their life could have been a breakup. Um, as I said, and, and it's making them just look at everything in their current life, their past life, a lot of reflection here and thinking 
going within, trying to find answers, realizing that you are still coming through in their energy. You've played a significant role in their life. Yeah, they could struggle to communicate because I'm now struggling um, with what I want to say here. I feel they're going through a dark night of the soul for some of them actually as well. And you may have already been through this yourself. So we're just going to go a bit deeper with the tarot. I'm just getting so much sorrow, you know, when I connect with this energy. Um, it's someone who just really regrets past actions. Um, that could be the title of this video. Wow, and <laughs> it's interesting. I said about the hermit and the hermit's come out, number nine. Um, going within, so this person's alone at the moment a lot, really reflecting and ascending as a result though. That's why I'm getting so emotional for this reading. But we've got the full, which is showing they're starting a new chapter as well in their life. Starting again. But they're really looking at what they want for this new chapter. And um, so those options that came out before. So Virgo Aquarius have come out so far. It doesn't have to just be those signs, but just calling them out. See Major Arcana confirming that major life event that I felt. And I do feel it's about breaking free healing, going within, ascending. Wow, everyone, two more major arcana, yeah. You can't make this up. This is a big deal for this person. Um, this card shows awakening. See their soul rising up, making a big decision, answering the call connecting to the divine, connecting to their higher self, making a decision in love for some of them as well. So, you know, maybe ending a relationship there. Um, but for some, this could be a decision to reconcile with their one soul connection to inflame coming out here as well. I'm also getting yin-yang alignment that's happening within this person as they go through this shift, very big shift obviously. Um, Gemini, Scorpio are coming out as well. But I'm suddenly just channeling, is it too late? Wow, and a really heavy heart chakra. So this person really needs to take some time to heal the heart chakra. Um, because obviously you're on their mind, I feel that's you as well there. You've been in their dreams. What else is going on with this person? They're keeping this to themselves though. A lot of emotions here that I was feeling. Um, especially the heart chakra. See, they could be married um, in a long-term commitment here. And they could be keeping this from those around them, this decision they're thinking about making. We've got a 10 for a completion um, coming through. So this card's just really showing me this contemplation. Um, where they're looking at their current life and what they want in the future. So for some, this could be their future as well, you know, looking at the long-term commitment that they desire. So 
I'm going to take a few more cards and then I'm just going to channel anything else. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. I want a new beginning, um, for sure. They want to commit. So, for some of you, I'm really feeling like this is what they desire with you. Um, but I'm feeling like they need to build themselves up first, you know, grow, start again. They've been learning a lot. Wow. Okay, um, the cards, they've flown off camera there, but that's like a tower moment. So something big, the major, is happening or is going to happen for this person. Some of you may feel it yourselves, a very heavy energy that suddenly comes over you. Um, and you, you think, where's that come from? You may have very vivid dreams as well. Yeah, so this has been a karmic situation. And then we've got two knights there for action that they want to take. But I'm just feeling this, suddenly getting this weak energy. So something here has kept them trapped, whether it's an addiction, a person they're very drawn to, um, thought pattern, behaviour, and it's very challenging, so this could be very challenging for them, um, this communication they need to have, which is making them a bit up and down, back and forth, unsure. The interesting I said about the player energy, that's come out here. Uh, that hasn't come out for a while in readings, actually. Um, so this is kind of like the negative side as well. That's kind of what they want, their higher self wants, but their ego gets in the way and challenges them, stops them, makes them stay in that kind of... Um, non-committal energy so they may have been very non-committal in the past they may still be in that energy but i feel they're going through this transformation healing which has come out here so they connecting with the heart chakra how they truly feel is coming out um capricorn sagittarius um leo air signs, fire signs coming out as well, um, just thought I'd call those out. Yeah, I feel this person is going to receive clarity when they go with him, which they've been doing, and realise a lot of things. See, so this person's at the top of the mountain, so they've ascended, healed, another ace for a new beginning that they desire. Um, Taurus is coming out as well. So a lot of life lessons I'm feeling for this person. If you're in separation, it's been needed um, for you both to grow and learn and ascend. Just want to see if we can get what energy might they move into next, because this is where they're at. It could take time. Obviously, we can't put a time on it, but you know, even up to a year, some of you. Yeah, that one wants to come out. All tied up, so they may stay stuck. That's what I mean about timing. It all depends on um, law of free will, what they decide to do. But tw 23 breaks down to a five. So they may break out of feeling that way, feeling tied up, stuck. Just get one more to clarify. If any of you would like a private reading, by the way, to clarify your situation, please check out my shop in the description box below. 
And then we've got appreciation, that's interesting. So through going within, I feel they're going to appreciate what they have in their life, what they've lost. Is that about you coming into their mind? Now, 15 is the number of the devil. So they may come out of that energy um, of being ungrateful to one of appreciating things they have. I'm just suddenly getting these emotions now. Because the vision I'm seeing is like, that's a picture of you. It doesn't matter about your gender. They may look at your picture or think about you and appreciate you. I'm getting emotions now. You might hear as well. Wow. And it's like I'm getting this sense of the heart chakra opening as well. So I feel they change. They may have been very ungrateful in the past. Not appreciated you. Very flighty in and out of your life. They might have really hurt you. And when they're in this situation where they have to go with him, because whatever it is that happens for them that makes them be in that energy, as I said, this reflecting is coming through again. You're in their dreams. They think about things you said and they appreciate you. They appreciate that they had you in their life, but they feel this sorrow because you're not in their life anymore. Wow, I'm almost getting tears come to my eyes now. So they're going to really feel a lot of guilt. It's the main energy I keep getting for this reading. Wow. Now there's you, the Queen of Cups. Again, doesn't matter about gender. That's kind of like this card here. Opening their heart, as I said. Realising you are their one. The Queen of Cups, a loving energy. You were always there for them, supporting them. And then the chariot shows victory. They may then move forward with success. Um, the yin-yang here shows alignment within that enables them to do that, to break out of that tied up energy, open their heart, connect with their emotions that I've really been feeling in this reading and open up to you. I strongly feel I'm getting shivers now. Wow, you might as well. Because um, it's just like I'm, I'm going through what this person goes through, this heart awakening. Um, big like reflection on their life on who's in the heart and when they open their heart which obviously here we, we saw was closed something happens that makes them do that they just charge forward they may travel to you and things may then really shift in your connection you may hear from them this is where i feel they may apologize um, Something I meant to say as well, before this reading, I kept channeling a song. Um, I was just hearing, sorry seems to be the hardest word. I think that's the, the title of the song. Um, is it Elton John? Not sure, but that's all I was hearing. So this person, I feel, um, is going to want to apologise as well if they come your way. Okay, I'm going to end that there because that was very emotional. Um, it's like an emotional roller coaster for me that I went through with them. As I said, I'm going to now do a bonus um, that I'll post for members. So if this has resonated for you, um, that will be there in the AB community if you're interested. And I'm just going to get more channeled messages from this person to you. So I really hope you've enjoyed this reading, that it's resonated for you. Um, let us know in the comments if you wish, if it has. Thank you so much for being here. Sending peace, love and light to you all.